Hi everyone, today I'm going to try and explain to you how to uh, interpret the manual of the miniature kits from uh, Row Life, also known as Robo Time, because on my YouTube channel I had a lot of questions. Um, from people saying that they don't understand the manual, that it is confusing, and I, I really get that. <laughs> when I made my first miniature kit, I was confused as well. A lot, actually. So, um, I didn't... Uh, write a script or anything like that. I'll just go through the manual and try to explain and just I don't know exactly what the questions are or what you mean, but let's just uh, see what you might where you might have problems with and today I'm going to explain this to you by the means of the manual of Sam's study now this one is actually pretty easy the um, manual from uh, uh, Kathy's flowers house as you can uh, see the review on my website www.everythingverysmall.com that one was more complicated but I don't have the manual anymore so I'll try to explain by means of this one so unpacking the box you can see all kinds of bags and piece of paper so this is uh, paint this is white paint this is a uh, uh, glue and another glue this glue I don't use very much this one I use mostly it's uh, attached quickly but not too quickly and you can wash it off easily with this glue um, as you can see here, it's liquid glue and white latex glue. As you can see here, tips of glue, the white latex is used for small wooden pieces. Now, I will probably use more latex glue for wooden pieces because uh, Sam study has a lot of wooden pieces so I will use it more I didn't use it a lot in uh, Kathy's flowers house used mostly this one the liquid glue is used for big wooden parts and other materials yes that's the one that I use the most actually Mm, then it says don't use too much glue in case that it will require a longer time to dry as well mm, yeah actually I didn't take that in, into account I like used the glue as as much as I wanted to or thought that it would be needed so actually a good tip of reading this again <laughs> So, uh, okay, um, tips of fabric, cut the fabric according to the instruction, that is pretty obvious, these are the pieces of fabric, so the parts of the box of the miniature kits are all in separate bags, and the bags, they are numbered, let's start with that, see, the fabric is in number four, and then you have bags two, 
point two back back two point one etc etc and um, each pack has different things uh, most of these have wooden pieces for Sam study has a lot of wooden pieces um, the problem I had with previous kits was that the same pieces for one piece of furniture they were spread around different bags uh, that was kind of annoying but it gets explained though um, by means of these papers now for the fabric as you can see you you just um let me look for a piece of fabric in the manual to see what i mean like this one there's a sofa mm. okay so the sofa for example it says you have to watch the list first you know um the list says take the wooden pieces of bag number one bag number one has one piece um so bag number one Where is bag number one? Ah, oh, here it is. So you take out the wooden piece according to the numbers here. See? There are numbers there. Here it says B, B35. So you go, you open the bag, and then you take these sheets. This one sheet says the, the A's, all the pieces with an A in front of it. This sheet says all the pieces with a B in front of it. So then we go look for piece number one, B35. So we look for B35. And here it is. See, B35. Then you see, you had to go bag number one. So let's open it up because I will do this one of these days anyway. I need some scissors. What did I say? B35. No, nope. that's not the one. So 
So B35, we look for that piece. And how do we do that? Well, this one obviously not. So we put this away. We put this aside. Mm. As you can see, these will probably not have that piece. This one will. Put that aside. B35. Well, I can't find B35. My gosh. And there's only one bag, number one. But what I can find is B34. B34 is this and this piece. As you can see, just push it out and it matches. See? So that's how you find a piece of wood. You just go to the manual, you have a look at how the pieces look like or should look like, and then you go to the corresponding bag. That's it for the pieces. Uh, another question you could have. Mm. The fabric, it works the same. You just go to the corresponding bag and you pick out the, uh, the piece that suits the manual. Uh, I'm not sure what other kind of question you might have for these um, so mostly people get confused when there are pieces that need um, that are made by wires right that's where they get confused and I get that but this one there's no pieces of wires in it now let me tell you every time i do a miniature kit and it has wires i will and make it i will surely uh, film it as well and put it on youtube um so if you have any more other questions, you can ask um, below the video or have a look at the reviews. Uh, mostly in my reviews, I mention where I encountered any issues that you would have to look for. On my website, I have reviews. Um, what else? Yeah, there's the um, electrics, of course. I can see the trouble there. But as I said, you just um, pick out the pieces, like in the manual from the bags, corresponding bags. You look for them and then you just follow the manual. I'm not sure what other issues you could have. Now, um, I think these from Row Life are pretty easy to follow. Um, I can imagine you doing uh, kits from Cute or Hangda or other Chinese brands they're not so easy but I haven't done those yet so I can't help you with that unfortunately yet 
Um, another question people ask is uh, sometimes when you order a kit from Amazon or AliExpress, I buy them on AliExpress. I think they are cheaper there. Okay, they might take a longer time to arrive to your country, but they always do, and their customer services these days is as good as Amazon. Um, so there's no problem there. Now, sometimes they arrive in Chinese. What you do then is use Google um, uh, Translate app, and you just... Hover over with that app on the text and it translates it for you. So there you go, then it's solved. Or as maybe you could contact Raw Life to ask for an English manual. I have an email contact address on my website where I review the, these kits. So, yeah, if you have any other questions, uh, you can always ask below the video and I will try to answer them. Um, making the flowers, making the plants, as I see now, is kind of hard at the beginning. I can confirm. <laughs> But you can always watch other YouTube videos to see how the, these flowers are made. So just go ahead and try it out. And there you go. I wish you all a happy crafting. And I will see you next time.